On August 6, 2025, James Webb's instruments locked onto an object once dismissed as a comet. But the data told a darker story. Three AI was not meandering on a random hyperbolic path. Its orbit cut neatly across the Earth's ecliptic plane, a trajectory so precise that statisticians calculated just a 1 in 500 chance of occurring naturally. Then came the accelerations, abrupt course corrections no comet has ever made. For the first time, NASA quietly confirmed the unthinkable. Atlas is not passing through. It is moving on a direct path toward us. The quiet leak. If you're fascinated by this story, make sure you subscribe to this channel to stay updated on every revelation as this unfolds. At 2.11 UTC on August 6, 2025, the James Webb Space Telescope recorded a set of spectrographic logs that on the surface looked ordinary. A series of carbon dioxide spikes, faint thermal traces, and a trajectory update flagged in the background metadata. Most analysts dismissed it as routine noise, but buried in those numbers was a strange alignment pattern, a rhythm in the spectral data that didn't fit comet models. It resembled structure, not chaos, a fingerprint of intent. One mid-level data analyst, Dr. Adrian Kowalski, flagged the logs in an internal note. His remark was short. Trajectory points inward, not hyperbolic. Those words carried weight. Unlike interstellar comets such as 1 i Oumuamua in 2017 or 2 i Borisov in 2019, which swept past the Sun and vanished, this new Object 3i Atlas appeared on course toward Earth's orbital path. The suggestion was staggering. Comets are supposed to wander, not converge. Leaks spread quietly through encrypted Slack channels and research forums. Small astronomy collectives in Europe and South America began running simulations with open-source orbital software. Their results matched Webb's flagged data. The trajectory wasn't an outward flyby, but an inward spiral. Rumors of Earth intercept began to appear in internal memos at the European Space Agency. For the first time, whispers of cover-up circulated among the science community. NASA responded with public calm and private urgency. Outwardly, officials blamed calibration errors, suggesting the anomaly was nothing more than a sensor hiccup. Yet behind closed doors, orbital modelers were pulled into emergency meetings. By the end of the week, the conclusion could no longer be avoided. The trajectory was real. The leak wasn't an exaggeration. And the first shock of recognition hit. 3AI was not just passing by. It was coming in. The acknowledgement of trajectory set the stage for panic. For centuries, interstellar objects had been seen as drifters, visitors destined never to return. But Atlas defied this history. Instead of escaping the sun's grasp, it was threading into the heart of the solar system, along a path eerily close to Earth. What began as whispers in hidden chat rooms had become a storm in every orbital lab. And when the full path was revealed, the scientific community faced an even darker truth. Not just passing by, by August 9, 2025, Orbital simulations from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory confirmed what independent astronomers had already whispered. 3 Hyatlas was heading inward on a trajectory aligned within just 0.5 de Grand of Earth's orbital plane. For perspective, the probability of such alignment occurring randomly is less than 1 in 500. Most comets travel with significant tilt, looping in from eccentric angles. Atlas, however, slid neatly into the planetary highway as though following a flight plan. The shape of the trajectory also raised alarms. Ordinary interstellar comets follow hyperbolic paths, their eccentricity greater than 1.0, marking them as transients. Atlas, however, showed values disturbingly close to parabolic, as though bound, not free. Orbital analysts ran backward simulations over 10,000 years and found no plausible origin within known stellar neighborhoods. Every model failed unless one assumed intention. Random drift could not have produced this precision. At Caltech's Orbital Mechanics Lab, researchers debated late into the night. Was Atlas captured by some hidden gravitational resonance, or was it actively correcting its course, resisting the randomization of stellar drift? In internal meeting notes, one physicist wrote, The path lacks chaos. It's curated. These words echoed Avi Loeb's 2018 hypothesis about Oumuamua, that precision in trajectory can itself be a technological signature. The implications spread like wildfire to the public. NASA maintained vague language, 
anomalous incoming orbit under review, but internally the term chosen path began to circulate. Atlas was no longer seen as a mere fragment. It was now treated as an interstellar actor navigating rather than drifting, and that distinction transformed everything. If it was truly inbound on purpose, the solar system was no longer passive space. It was a destination. The trajectory debate might have stayed theoretical until James Webb itself turned its gaze directly on Atlas. On August 6, 2025, its near-infrared spectrograph captured readings more detailed than any ground telescope could manage. What came back was not just orbital confirmation, but chemistry that broke every known rule. In a single night, Webb shifted the conversation from orbital mechanics to something far stranger, the possibility that Atlas was not simply traveling, but communicating. On the night of August 6, 2025, Webb's NAIRSPEC targeted three AI from its stable vantage at L2, 1.5 million kilotted from Earth. The first surprise came instantly. The coma was not water-driven, as with nearly all comets observed since Halley's return in 1986. Instead, carbon dioxide dominated the emission spectrum, with water barely detectable. Ratios reached as high as 8-1, unheard of in comet science. This was not just strange, it was alien chemistry. Even stranger were the metallic lines. Infrared and ultraviolet scans revealed strong nickel emissions, but no iron. Every meteorite catalogued on Earth, from the Campadel's fall in 1576 to Antarctic micrometeorites sampled in 2003, contains nickel paired with iron. They are cosmic twins, inseparable in formation. Yet here was Atlas flaunting nickel, while its sibling element was missing entirely. Scientists shook their heads. Nature did not work this way. The brightness profile also defied natural explanation. Rather than sunlight reflected randomly across dusty grains, Webb recorded emissions with internal modulation, as though photons were being generated, not just scattered. Analysts saw repeating wavelength intervals structured like harmonics. Some likened it to engineered photonic output, akin to fiber optic signals. The words telecommunication signature even appeared in a draft report, though the phrase was later scrubbed from official channels. Curiously, NASA released no high-resolution imagery, only selective spectra. Leaked internal plots revealed one more oddity, an anomalous bright core centralized rather than diffuse. It pulsed faintly at intervals close to 11 minutes, adding rhythm to an already unnatural picture. By the time the observation ended, even the most cautious scientists admitted it. Atlas was not just chemical chaos. It was behaving like a transmitter. Webb's revelations forced a chilling reframing. Atlas was not only huge, not only on a path that looked intentional, it was also sending patterns that resembled signals. But as strange as the light and spectra were, the true shock came with size and structure. Leaked data painted Atlas as far larger than first estimated, cloaked in a halo of carbon dioxide and casting shadows that no natural object should. What scientists glimpsed next only deepened the mystery. By mid-August 2025, internal leaks revealed something staggering. 3I Atlas was not the modest 11-kilometer nucleus first estimated from ground telescopes. Webb's infrared analysis suggested a diameter exceeding 40 kilometer, nearly four times larger than Oumuamua and twice the size of most known interstellar candidates. For context, Comet Hale-Bopp in 1997, one of the brightest comets of the 20th century, measured only about 30 kilometers. If true, Atlas was not just another interstellar visitor. It was a colossus. The halo surrounding it only deepened the puzzle. CO2 emissions formed a symmetrical envelope extending hundreds of thousands of kilometers, unnaturally smooth and circular. Typical comet tails flicker with turbulence, twisting under solar wind. Atlas's halo instead looked engineered, like a shell. Its borders sharp rather than diffuse. Researchers whispered comparisons to containment fields, a term borrowed from physics but never applied to natural bodies. The geometry felt designed, not accidental. Even more startling was the shadow anomaly. Webb's infrared imaging detected a persistent linear dark band trailing the object. Unlike natural shadows which shift with angle, this one stayed fixed regardless of sunlight direction. When Atlas rotated, the shadow did not. Memos leaked from ESA used a term unfamiliar in astrophysics, self-shading body. 
The phrase implied something actively controlling how light interacted with it, as though Atlas projected its own shadow. These findings set fire to speculation. Could this shadow be an artifact of internal structure? Perhaps something hollow reflecting or bending light? Or was it deliberate cloaking, a method of misdirection? Some likened it to gravitational lensing, but no known mass distribution fit the data. Others dared a bolder thought that Atlas's interior might contain machinery shielded beneath layers of rock and gas. Whatever the truth, the object had become less like a comet and more like a